Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the beautifully sunny Twickenham Stadium. Now, after last week's loss, O2 have been on the phone saying they wanted someone funny, someone full of energy, someone with a great sense of humour. Unfortunately, Danny Kerr wasn't available. She got myself presenting O2 Inside Line live today. And I tell you what, we have some fantastic guests. We've got the amazing Paolo Adogwu, who's going to be joining us from inside the England camp. We've got our incredible studio audience, but... More importantly than that, I've got someone who was a better rugby player, he's got more caps, more tries. I was going to say more chat, but I don't want to lie to anyone. <laughs> Nolly Waterman, how are you? Yes! Oh, oh, yeah. They always do that. There's never like James Haskell and anyone oh, cheers. No, unfortunately not. Um, I, uh, I'm very well. We don't get out very often. No. And um, What, in general or just in this lockdown period? <laughs> in general, now I've retired. But, um, yeah. Come to Twickenham and then get to spend the afternoon with you. Fantastic. Some would say that's one of the best prizes you could possibly have. Well, someone who's also <laughs> joining us today is Paolo Adogwu. Paolo, how are you, sir? Hello, hello, I'm good. Keeping warm inside Twickers at the moment. Just chilling out with a coffee. You look very toasty, like I'm extremely jealous. All they gave me was a bit of this, a bit of stash. You look like you've got multi layers on there. I think I've got too many layers at the moment, but then when we're outside, I'll probably be too cold. I've yeah. got a snood as well, but. You've got a snood? Mate, oh, I took it off. That's Got unbelievable. My and everything. It's real fancy. So, how have you found <laughs> your very first England camp? Yeah, it's been good. I think it's probably the weirdest possible camp to come into, being obviously with the COVID regulations and it being as strict as it is. So, pretty much the only time you get to socialise with people is at dinner and you're all on your individual tables like you're doing an exam at school. So, it's a bit weird, <laughs> but it's been good for me. I know you had a question from Nolly as well. Yeah, no, I'm just interested. You absolutely tear into people at the weekends in club rugby obviously we all know you know James on the field absolute beast off the field complete kitten um, is there anybody that has really surprised you as a person now you've got to see them like in camp and around and not just playing against them um I think probably I thought Faz would be a lot more serious like around the camp than he is He's actually really chilled out and like a really sound guy, but I thought he would be like 100% switched on all the time. But I think the whole general vibe of the camp and just everyone has been a lot more relaxed than I thought it would be, which is good. And have you found any moments where you've like, it felt really surreal? I mean, you've just told us how excited you were with your initials on your snood, but um, is there any other moments where you've gone, oh my God, like I'm sat in England camp. Is it a meeting room? Is it at your exam desk, dinner, where like training? I think it's so it only really happens you'll just be sitting there and you look around and you'll be like it's a bit mad this and i'll sort of just switch back into being my normal self which is just chilled out so i haven't really had any like starstruck moments or anything like that but it is slightly surreal so has eddie jones actually spoken to you because i know sometimes <laughs> sometimes he talks to people but sometimes he doesn't and i can imagine he absolutely loves the color in your hair and the earring in your ear has he given you any stick yet <laughs> He hasn't given me any stick. He was calling me the Italian stallion yesterday. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> but, but that's a good thing. So he, so he has been talking to you and he gives you a little bit of stick. Because the thing is, if he doesn't give you stick, then, he, then he's not interested. That's right. Yeah, it's good. He gives me a couple of body shots every time he walks past me. Just checking I'm still solid. <laughs> what, walks past, gives you a body shot? Just checking you're a unit? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. People just wouldn't expect that I, from Eddie. One thing I'm in interested in is the fact that James had zero clue that you had any link to Italy even though I think maybe it's because he's been struggling with your name Paolo but what is the link with Italy um that yeah that's brought you this wonderful yeah, I don't name think anyone did to be fair um so my dad is half Italian and he was born there so that's obviously the direct link and then everyone gets confused because my first name is Paolo but then when I say my dad's Italian my surname's Nigerian so it just makes even less sense oh uh, yeah I love that yeah. I love that so Obviously, you've only been camp here for, for a little while. Have you noticed a massive step up in terms of what you were doing for, for, for club, in terms of the intensity? You know, just tell us about some of the differences you found. I think the main thing's been sort of the attention to detail and just the, like, the level of skill. Obviously, like, everyone in the Premiership is really skillful, but there's just that, like, next level that everyone here is at. So training's just a bit quicker. Like, every decision you have to make is a bit quicker, and you sort of... In the first two sessions, it takes you a bit to get into it and a bit to get up to speed. So I feel like now I'm sort of settling in and getting used to the training. But yeah, it's definitely a level up. 
Have you stepped anyone yet? Because you've been carving <laughs> up in club. Have you like absolutely schooled anyone? <laughs> I'm trying to think now. There must have been a couple in. Oh, sorry about that. Well, there must have, must, well, well, the law of averages, you must have embarrassed somebody at training. <laughs> Well, Paolo, listen, it's great to talk to you. Um, obviously, things are going well, really well. Not that well as you're talking to O2 Inside Line on game day. <laughs> but hopefully we, will, hopefully we will see you very shortly running out of Twicken and mate, you're fantastic. I'm so yeah. excited. And also, make sure you stay tense because if Eddie feels any softness, then you'll be gone. You know that, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having you, mate. It's great to speak to you. Well, listen, we're going to move on now to our incredible uh, VIP audience who are, are joining us. Now, first of all, can we get a thumbs up from everyone in the house? We're away. Oh, there they are. Wave, the thumbs up, whatever you need. Look, everyone is absolutely pumped and excited. Now, do not say that I'm not generous because I have got some stash. I brought it in myself to give you. There's an opportunity to win some... Don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I donate. I didn't. I didn't. I don't give anything away. <laughs> Nothing. Um, show everyone what, what they can win. Oh, yeah, OK, as your, yeah. as your nice assistant. Yeah. Look at this, the Heritage Whoa. Ray shirt. Yeah. yeah, buddy. James did say he will sign it, but I think it will devalue it. Don't <laughs> go for that offer. Oh, um, she just, keep she just knows how to knife you in the ribs, doesn't she? <laughs> We're supposed to be all friends here. I don't, I don't need to be doing this to get abused. I actually do. <laughs> do. Lockdown's <laughs> been tough. No, I actually do. Um, right, listen, my very good friend, Joe Marler, um, as you know, squirted water in my face, and I will get my revenge. But he's not here today. So what I want you guys to do, each of you with a... Uh, pen and paper at home is to draw Joe Marlon. Now he is a man with a lot of character in the face <laughs> and in the personality but we only want to capture the, the face. You're going to join in. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I sound really aggressive. Very aggressive. You will draw. Okay. You will draw. Are you any good at drawing? <laughs> I'm alright. I mean, yeah, no, I'm looking at yeah, my hands. The weird <laughs> little hands, isn't it? <laughs> Terrifyingly weird little hands. Yeah, they're I saw very them. small. Um, I'm okay at drawing. I mean, I what would be just to give me a, uh, a little bit of an idea yeah. key features key feature joe yeah. marla <laughs> where do you i've got a laundry list of them massive nose <laughs> right mohawk uh a beard powerful beard and really shady odd <laughs> eyes i would say easy easy you got yeah, all that down yeah. how long so, have we got <laughs> we've actually got 30 seconds has everyone at home got a pen and a piece of paper Everyone there? Look at Co Colin in the background. He's primed. It's got a pen and paper. Absolutely no emotion, Colin. Honestly. <laughs> Colin, this is Colin. Your house on fire. <laughs> Colin, you won the lottery. <laughs> Nothing. Unbelievable. Right, OK. We've got a timer. We've got yeah. a clock. OK, right. Three. Three, two, one, go. Please describe what you're drawing. Um, beady eyes. Do you need weird... like a smaller <laughs> card for them weird little hands? <laughs> oh, no, that's not him. I'm going to draw a proper beard. Someone drawing? next to me has... Oh, no, he's got a big jaw. Oh, no, but I've gone He's got big wrong. jaw eyes. <laughs> Don't forget, weird, weird nose. I'm not really nose. quite sure. He's got a slight... There we go. Ten seconds to go. That's definitely not 30 seconds. What are you doing? Oh, no, I haven't done the beard. Proper Four, beard. Not like yours. Three, Hang on. two, one. Stop there. Right. First of all, before everyone at home joins in... <laughs> Nolly, give us your, uh, you know, the unveiling of your, your amazing project. There we go. It's that is actually funny... way better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> now, that is like, actually not too bad. I would Do say you're better it? at drawing yeah. than you were playing rugby. Like, I can sign. There you go. There we go. That is amazing. Look at that. I, we'll they donate are. that little to charity. Hands, they work. Tiny little hands, great for colouring in. Yeah. Um, right. What we're going to do is Nolly's now going to judge all of you at home, our fantastic <laughs> VIP studio audience. So, what I want you to do is turn your uh, picture over and hold it up to the camera and then we will we will choose you will choose okay. the best one. Well, that's actually some incredible. Oh, hang on. Andrew's got about five options. Oh. Um, hang on a second. Just ha look at that. Matt Simmons Just, absolutely uh, done me. Yeah. Oh, um Eric and Ollie. Edward Howard. Ed oh, you know what? Edward Howard is class. I I really like God, Eric and Eric and Ollie, that looks like a, that's yeah, like a proper just, design. Just before, a just, before we, just before we go there, Matt Simmons, do you want to just have a quick chat with us? I mean, uh, uh, yeah. That, do, did you prepare that earlier? That looks like a project that you spent quite a few <laughs> weeks on. Uh, what can I say? Look at that, mate. That's unbelievable. And, and what, and, and what, how, did, how did I sound when I spoke to the referee? Have you got an impression of me? Um, I can't remember, actually. Yeah. No, you and something like that. Please, sir. He squirted water at me. You can't do that. Um, well, that is fantastic. That is amazing. Are you a full-time artist or, or have you got something else about you? I say part-time. Right, part-time. Well, brilliant. Well, listen. I Matt, think I've got... I think, you know what? You've got a winner, have you? Yeah, Matt, you, I would give an honourable mention. Absolutely brilliant. Um, 
I think Edward Howard and the boys, fantastic. I love that because you've gone full body. Everyone else just knocked it off at the head like I did, but you've gone full body, tiny pin legs, big shoulders for scrummaging, <laughs> big beard. Um, yeah, Edward Howard and your boys, you have earned yourself Yay! the English share. There we go. Right, right. Good stuff. Look and at that. Yeah, I mean, so. so Talk to me about, you know, there's obviously three of you, you know, did some hold the paper, did one person hold the pen, who was the actual artist? Uh, well, it was, um, I did quite a lot of it, but I must say there was a bit of help from Thomas. Oh. Yeah, well done, Thomas. Oh, well done. Fantastic yeah. teamwork. Are you, are you a big fan? Are you guys big fans of Joe Marler? Mm. He's a funny yeah. player, yeah, definitely. <laughs> who's, but who's the funniest? Player <laughs> that you probably I don't want to, he's not a million miles away from on the, the he's screen. He's searching now. for a compliment, yeah. boys. You know, James, you know, James, you know, James, you are Yes, yes. yes. now we're talking. Oh, now don't we're talking. It. It oh. And just to ask you guys, so, who, so who's going to win today? England, perfect. And, and, and who do you want to see score a try? Oh, I think we should see Faz score a few tries today, oh, mate. He's been confident after last week. And also, he's on the front cover of Men's Health. Not with his top off, though, because he doesn't do <laughs> Not with his top off. Unlike I've had his shirt yeah. off, but, you um, know, we can't I'm have just, everything. I'm intrigued. Who's the best rugby player in that household, then? <laughs> oh, I don't know. There's some competitive spirit and Dad's vicariously living through his sons. Guy, no. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you so, thank you so much, George. Right, but before you go, because we've got more competitions, and that's what we're doing with those who just constantly giving, interacting, we've got a try celebration game. Now, I say a game, it's just more of a thing. You've, do, uh, do they win anything? We give you they away? They do. They win They're going to win ball. a rugby ball. Again, which I brought. You're welcome. <laughs> um, OK, so what we've got to do, right, on the count of three, on the count of three, you're going to give us your very best try celebration. Now, we were practising off air, because we're not professionals. This is something that we do part-time. I'm an author first and a top war-winning podcaster. <laughs> but I had a, You've also just produced some, some music. I am, yeah, and I'm, a, I'm a house music producer. But stop mentioning all the things. Oh, stop it. How, but you made, didn't score tries. How many songs I made? Lots. Um, <laughs> has it been signed? Yes, it has. You... Um, how many tries have you scored for England? Because you told us all here on repeat. More than nine times. More than, than nine <laughs> times, right? So I had to work no, that out. No, more than nine times more than you. Yeah, yeah fine. <laughs> Whatever it is, 47 tries? Yeah. And England. how many have I scored? Go on, tell them. Five and a half. Five and a half. And why did I only score a half? I gave you half because of the effort and also all of the social media coverage of when you ran into the post. Yeah, remember that? Almost broke my neck against Wales. Everyone's having a laugh except me. I was in traction, nearly had to you retire. Got half, you got extra half a point oh, for fine. that. Fine, so, so I scored five and a half tries, you scored 47. So you know all about try celebration. Should I give us your demonstration of what a try celebration would be? Um, You've got to be in the heat of the moment, so the motion. Um, I've got quite big teeth. Mm, so. I was going to offer you a sugar lump when you came in, <laughs> the size of them. Faint smell of hay. Honestly, I heard you coming like you're throwing a shoe. Carbs. Yeah, way too many carbs, yeah. Honestly. Liniment. So all I could smell was liniment and straw. Odd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah loads of teeth. As Massive much, amount of as teeth. Much teeth, teeth as possible. Honestly. Arms in the air. I. Oh, arms in the air, but <laughs> tiny little hands. Teeth, <laughs> tiny little hands. I was really fortunate that I could do my try celebrations out of COVID time so yeah. I could hug my mates. Yeah. Now we've got families on screen, so human contact is some, something that is yeah. important with a proper celebration. So yeah. Okay, so on the count of three, there we're we going to get very best try celebrations. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Andrew's lost the plot. That's incredible. Colin, he smiled. You think, oh, he's having a seizure. I don't know. Someone call an ambulance around to Colin. Like, there he's up. I love William, Archie and Ralph. Look at that. Oh, That's look at them. Team spirit. Caroline. Caroline's Lavinai. on fire. Eric and Ollie up north going wild. Do you want to pick a win, and Ollie? Because you know all about celebrating tries. I didn't. You know what? I mean, Andrea's still loving it. She's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's running back to half rate, giving it the big one to the cameras. Um, I think, you know what, there was, oh, there were so many good ones. Yeah, we, we, you know, we've only got a game in an hour. Yeah. Ollie, I know this is your moment in the sun, but will you please pick one? <laughs> um, just because of the team spirit and the energy, and they kept it going for the camera. Yeah. William, Archie and Ralph, you're yeah. going to have to fight over getting well a ball. Done. Yeah. Well done. And really do you know what, happy. do you know what, because I'm that kind of guy, I'll sign it as well for you. No, probably not. Um, okay. Do, hang on. Can we zoom in on them? Do you want James Haskell to sign the ball? Yeah. Would you like that? Can we get a chat with William and Archie? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oi, you're welcome. Of course you do. Of course you do. Because I'm, I'm a rugby player and a celebrity, so it's worth double. <laughs> um, right. 
All right, next we want to talk about an incredible, well, actually the most important thing that we're here today is the uh, is the squad. Uh, obviously, um, we're we'll taking on Italy today. You being the consummate back, professional commentator, who, who's caught your eye on the backs? Um, oh, I'm... So you're, you're pigeonholing me. I was wanting to talk about Mako, but I will talk about the bats as I Fine, do know right. a bit well, more listen, about them. No, 2021, I, talk about who you want. I am really looking forward to, to Johnny May coming back out here. I think um, uncharacteristic errors last week. Um, and he's gonna, he is such a competitive beast. He will be fuming from that and will be getting out and ripping into them. Um, actually, against... Against France last week, Italy kicked quite badly. They had loads of ball to counter-attack. And one person you want to see with loads of space is also on the other wing, Anthony Watson. Um, so for me, those two tearing up is going to be pretty fun. Well, taking a look at the squad, I was actually surprised that um, there wasn't more changes. I thought, you know, I thought Eddie has obviously put out his uh, intention, the way he wants to play. But I think it's fantastic seeing Courtney Laws come in at number six. Actually, when he came off the bench uh, last week, you know, we know that he is um, a ruthless tackler. I thought from a, from a team perspective, we were off in lots of areas, but especially the bite in defence. So Courtney's going to really offer that. And he's turned into an incredible ball carrier, which is something he's worked on for a long time. I'm interested. Mm. Has Courtney ever smashed you in training, in, in matches? Yeah, he has. No, he has. He has. He has, actually. How did it feel? Oh, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's terrifying. And also, you know, shared a room with him, which is even more terrifying. But that's another What's story. What's he like as a roomie? Well, he, he, survives on, he survives on crunchy nut, ribena and hobnobs, which is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm more interested. I mean, that sounds like an elite diet. Is he a folder packer away or is he a... In a ball in the corner. With his clothes, I'm talking about. No, he's about. great. He's, no, he's organised. He's organised. He's organised. Organised. But I can't talk about Courtney all day because, you know what? We're an hour out from the game. Thank you, Nolly, for joining us with your knowledge Pleasure. and your yes, je ne sais quoi. Yes, Nolly. Paolo Dogwu, thank you yes, so much. Nolly. And also to our incredible VIP audience. We've got an hour till kickoff, but remember to stay tuned till after the game because we will be interviewing three of the England players to find out what really went on when hopefully we beat Italy. Catch you soon.